Okay, hopefully we do something actually useful today instead of learning brawler, sick brawler moves that I'm probably never going to actually use. So, how about that? Let's go figure out what we're doing. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. But hey, this looks like a pizza place. Probably. I don't see why not. Axis powers moment, am I right? <laughs> uh. Hey, Oda, how you doing? My co-worker, since I'm part of Tachibana Real Estate now. <laughs> My boss? Nah, Tachibana's the only boss I have. I told you to get a proper suit. What do you mean? This is my proper suit. What are you talking about? Like you can talk. Yeah, exactly. Come on. We both look like we have, like, old lady uh, tablecloths as shirts. Let's be honest here. Come on. <laughs> uh, God, I really don't have anything to talk about again. I've been working on a final project, and it's a group project, which means it's terrible. But, um, it's a coding thing. And, I mean, I can, you know, I can kind of figure it out, you know, I can kind of, I can kind of do it. But, for one, I'm relying on group mates, which I don't like doing, because, I mean, hell, it's due in two days. Oh, wow. No, I don't know. I, 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 I still, I just look like I'm a shady guy that's trying to look not shady, which is even shadier. Oh, well. But, um, <sighs> Sheesh. I don't know. I'm hoping that my groupmates know what they're doing and will do it, but um, I'm not entirely sure in all honesty. I don't have anything to do between the now and when it's due though, so if need be, I'll just crunch it out at the end, like last minute, and then absolutely bomb this person's like group member um, management form thing, you know? I'm not above doing that. <laughs> I already asked the professor. He's like, uh, the, the, let me see if I can do the accent. He's like from Turkey or something. But he's a white guy, I don't know if he's actually... Anyways, I know, this is how little I know about Turkey. Um, some, some kind of Central or Eastern Europe place, I would imagine. But, uh, it's like, um, uh, I, uh, the, the final grade is based on uh, the full completion and uh, the distribution is uh, based on the, the uh, group member evaluations. Uh, dang it. It's like, okay, I, I can only do the, the accent sometimes. Like he says here, like here, you know, um, here, you know. If you look here, uh, it, uh, again, he's a white-looking guy, or he's a white guy. I don't know if he's a white. See, here's the cool thing: people can be white and people of color at the same time, like me. I'm like at least an eighth Polish, and Poles are Slavs, which makes them people of color, which makes me like an eighth person of color at the very least, which means I can say an entire eighth to maybe even a quarter. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Um, how am I supposed to divide 6 by 8? Um, but, you yeah. know. Well, hey, it's a good thing that I'm talking about this, because this story seems pretty boring. We're just standing here. The old man. I got my my own business cards, and they're, and they're white on black? That's super epic. Oh, I will not be slacking. Don't, don't worry. Believe you me, whatever your name is. God, this looks like some wacky place. Uh, where is good to talk business? In the very back. Hmm. Oh. Why? Why did I do that? Yeah, right in the middle. Right in the middle, yeah. Hold up, we're not sitting by the door, genius. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna pick a table towards the back, don't you? Believe you me, I thought by look, I meant look around, you know? I am using my brain, Oda, Oda Sensei, creator of um, One Piece. Oh yeah, arcade table. He's gonna be like, that's a two seater. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope so. He's an old man though, so maybe not. 
but yeah. <laughs> Let's find another table. This is this is for completion's sake. There we go. Good. I'm gonna take the uh nearest seat or furthest seat. I should take the furthest seat and offer up the nearest seat to the client. Good man. It's a square table. What do you mean, sit at the head? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyways. I'm just testing you, Oda. <laughs> Anyways. But, yeah. The project I have to do, I have to, like, build a model and create an interface for calibrating pressure transducers using a deadweight tester. Uh, jeez. If I get nothing, then the client feels like he can't order anything. If I get beer, then that's unprofessional, so coffee. Cool heel. No, we'll be ordering at right. Right. That does make sense. Shout out to that one time that I uh, had a date with my uh, my ex girlfriend and her dad, and I uh, ordered food and sat down and like ate half a meal before they arrived. I value my time very much. Oh, <laughs> uh, jeez. I'm trying, man. I'm much better at just beating the crap out of people, and I'm not even good at that. But, yeah, anyways. Oh, wow, what a guy. Oh, but, yeah, it should be a fun time as long as I don't have to, like, crank out an all-nighter just to finish up some other guy's work. But again, I'm not above doing that, I've done it before. I have my fair share of experience when it comes to doing other people's work in group projects. At least it's a three-man group instead of like a seven-man group this time. Last group project I was in, I had to do seven people's worth of work. Baha! Quick time event, business card. Here, have my business card. Oh, it's not wh it's not white on black, bruh. Oh. Good, I'll have to keep my cards upside down. <gasps> Bruh. Oh well. Oh, I'm glad you look forward to working with me because I look forward to working with you. Unfortunately, I do not look forward to working with my group project members. But, you know, honestly, the tasks are delineated enough that it should be fine because I don't have to wait for like them to do their stuff because I don't know if they've really done much of anything yet. But, you know, I've got the model built out as much as I believe it should be, but honestly, like the <laughs> the the way that it is explained in the project, like rubric and all that, is quite. A, confusing, and I'm not entirely sure what to do. But hey, again, hopefully my group project members know what they're doing, because I delineated to them the stuff that I was completely unsure about. I can build the model, but I'm not sure how to address some of the more auxiliary, like, niche things. And it, it's like, the way that they ask us to do it doesn't seem very intuitive for the sake of, like, calibrating anything. I guess I should describe what a pressure transducer and a dead, uh, a dead weight test bed is. Um, so, a dead weight test bed is a calibration device. Essentially, you put like known weights onto um, like a platform, and it will kind of output a. Oh boy, that's not good. The yakuza. Ew, disgusting, icky, gross. I would hate to be anywhere near anyone that has anything to do with the Yakuza. But, you know, a deadweight test bed, uh, given a known weight, will, uh, I guess a mass, it'll output a set pressure. There's, um, you know, there's like an internal chamber that will pressurize. And then you attach to it either like a pressure gauge or a transducer 
and you can calibrate it based on what the, the pressure reading should be. Um, so I mean a pressure gauge, it'll just show analog pressure, it'll show pressure in an analog manner, you know. Uh, pressure transducer, very interesting object there, it'll convert fluid pressure to an electric output, like an electric current, somehow. Now, I don't know exactly how it works, and I don't have to know, so long as I know exactly inputs and outputs, you know. So, yeah. I mean, it's an extremely linear thing, and it's there's only one variable. There's just independent, one independent, one dependent variable. So the models are really easy to set up. But, like, for one, it took me a while to even get to that part, because we're learning a bunch of wacky shit. Friggin' multivariate logistic regression, which has absolutely nothing to do with the things I'm doing for the final project. <laughs> and I figure, I'm like, okay, cool, I can use all of these shortcuts for the whole wacky stuff I don't understand, and I don't even have to do any of it to begin with. So that's nice, I do like that, but you should... Ugh. We can negotiate with our fists! Oh, I'm getting a mission? Very nice. Run along and fetch me a confectionery gift box. Oh. Huh. If you don't show up to the negotiating table empty-handed, pal, we're gonna give that squatter a confectionery gift box. Oh yeah! You know it. Alright, perfect. I'll be sure to, uh... Huh. It's on 10... Aichi Street. Well, I know it pretty well, but I don't know where it would be. I'll have to look once I got the gift box. Oh, no you don't. No, I won't. I told my mommy I wouldn't get any, any more fights. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Did I ever actually say that in this game? I doubt it, in all honesty. Like... I'm the kind of guy that would just get in a fight anyways. Let's be honest here, next guy that tries to cross me is getting them teeth kicked in, boyo. But not before I save the game. Good times. Uh, you know what, you look like you want to give me pocket tissues. No? Darn. Uh, fine. Is this... Tenkaichi Street? Or is this the confectionery store? Okay, this is Sapon Street. Oh, hey. No, I did not. Err. <laughs> er. <laughs> well, sorry, yeah, I'll go get it. Where am I supposed to buy a confections? Fr friggin' thing. Convenience store branch. I might have I might have to go down to Gone Don Quixote's. Um yeah, let's try the convenience store branch. Uh, but, you know, again, honestly, Don Quixote isn't that far. I can get to Don Quixote. But hopefully I don't have to go all the way there. Give me confection box. I wish to buy confections. Ahoy, mijo. How you doing? Uh, give me... Give me what? You gonna give me something? Spit it out already, you goofball. Hey, pocket tissues! I should buy as much pocket tissues as I can. Never mind, I'm not gonna do that. Um, um, um. Actually, you know what would be nice? I may or may not want to just leave and go to Don Quixote's instead of thinking about doing other kind of marginally stupid mumbro jumbo garbage. Ooh. On to Don Quixote's then. Travel 20 kilometers on foot. I'm making great use of my time. I'm also going the wrong way, aren't I? Eh, marginal difference in time of arrival. Let's get it. I'm really hoping I don't have to go like all over everywhere. You know what I keep forgetting? That, um... Because people drive on the incorrect side of the road in countries other than the greatest one, America, um, I'm gonna have to like walk on the other side of the the sidewalk too, 
because people walk on the side of the sidewalk that corresponds to the side of the road that they drive on. Or at least they should, if they're intelligent. But I still end up having to do the whole, like, basketball shuffle right in front of people while they're doing mumbo stupid mumbo-jumbo garbage. Ugh! You know? Table salt. You're telling me you don't have, a. Uh, you're telling me you don't have confections? Bruh. This is terrible. Can't can't we just give him some yakisoba? Squid yakisoba. I would I would I would leave the place I'm squatting in if I got some squid katsu yakisoba from two um interestingly suited men. The them being interestingly suited men has nothing to do with it, by the way. That uh it doesn't, guys, guys, it, it doesn't have anything to, it, it doesn't, I wonder if maybe one of the food places, maybe a cafe, it would be, it would be funny, honestly, if the, like, the cafe is the, the place that I, the place I was just standing in front of, heroin bar? Hey, oh, um, God, I don't know. Honestly, I might have to go to uh, the nationwide convenience store, but I will, I would like to try at the cafe before walking all the way over to the, uh, the taxi, taxi, you know, perhaps. Anyways, wait, I was just in the cafe. I, I would still like to, uh, hey, give me your nicest box of confections. Original beef curry. All right. Yeah, never mind. I will not be coming again. I only never mind. That that's just I'm not going to go there. <laughs> uh good times, good times. I wonder if I can run into the street. Let's cross the street. Fun fact, why did the chicken cross the road? It's a joke about killing yourself because that used to be a euphemism for killing yourself. Yeah, I want to know where I want to go. Let's go to... Uh, this seems like it's closer. Thanks, taxi driver. <laughs> cheapskate. Hey, I'm the cheapskate, actually. This is highway robbery. Especially since we're on a highway. Yes, that was very funny. No, you can't tell me it wasn't. Racers wanted. Interesting. I'm not a racer. So, I guess I'll have to not... How do I get into this place? Here we are. I wonder if there are any buildings that aren't marked on the map that I can just kind of walk into. That's possible, I guess. Hey, what's up, pal? How you doing? Please tell me that one of these convenience stores has... I mean, they got a bean paste bun. They got mandarin oranges. I mean, come on. Confectionery gift box! Finally, there we go. Perfect. I really kind of wish that I had met someone on the way here that I could beat the ever-loving crap out of because then it wouldn't have taken... Uh, let me see if I can do that calculation in my head. It was 2,000 out of like 44,000. That's around... a good like 5%. Probably a bit less. I'd say... Oh ho! All right, let's time to beat the crap out of some guys. Use my epic brawler strats because I can. Where are they? Oh, here we are. Ow. All right, try it again. Boink. <laughs> the brawler. Cool, I got excess money from that. Oh, I'm not human, am I? Racist. Racers, what? <laughs> uh, I don't like I don't like races. I don't like a lot of races, specifically races that aren't. Anyways, um, yeah, let's just get back to the mission at hand. Sheesh, finding the box took enough time out of me. I would like to just be done with this. It's probably going to be a extra long episode, you know. 
Yeah, I think, uh, actually this episode's gone on for extra long enough, so I'm just gonna end it off here, and we'll pick up on the next episode. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm gonna brawl your frickin' teeth and bow! <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.